Hello and welcome to Convince Catholicism, a place for all things Catholic. Right now I am sitting in my back indoor porch and it's Halloween night, very exciting. And I was thinking <clears throat> and I was going back to the time when I was in college and I wrote an article for our, I guess, theological magazine. I don't really know what to call it. Uh, and it was The Power of Death. That was the title of the article. So this video is going to be based off of that uh, loosely. I'll put, an, I'll put a title, I'll put a link of the magazine in the, uh, in the description. And basically what it is, is I discuss the Catholic origins of the macabre, right? <clears throat> you know, a lot of people may think that the Catholic Church tries to stay away from doom, gloom, darkness, death. But in reality, it would be keen to point out that the Catholic Church has a lot to do with the modern genres of macabre and horror. Even if the people who are not producing these uh, artistic pieces are not practicing or devout Catholics, they have to uh, be honest and somewhat admit that their work is inspired very heavily by the Catholic Church. Right, so what is the macabre? I think we all know what horror is, but what is the macabre? The macabre <clears throat> is an, an artistic piece that's similar and related to horror, but has a lot more to do with death than it does with uh, any other scary thing, like maybe uh, ghosts or demons or witches or zombies or whatever, right? It has everything to do with the aspect of human death. You know, this shirt <laughs> that I'm wearing, I wore this on purpose, has a lot to do with the macabre because of the skulls and the autumn foliage, right? So a lot of people may feel afraid of the macabre, but I think that those fears should be dispelled. The macabre, after all, is <clears throat> uh, one of the key aspects to our faith because it's something that all people, whether they're Catholic or not, will experience. Uh, death is a guarantee. It's the only guarantee in life besides taxes, after all, right? Um, the Catholic Church has a very interesting perspective on the macabre, and uh, I'll, I'll name uh, sort of uh, three of them, right? One is the feast that we're, the two feasts that, we're be, that we'll be celebrating, November 1st and November 2nd, November 1st being All Saints Day, and the second one especially, All Souls Day. <clears throat> the second one being that we do not know the hour in which the Lord is coming. So even if we are well, even if we are doing well health-wise and we are energetic, we do not know if we will live our final day, today, tomorrow, the next day. And the third is sort of purgatory, right? So first of all, uh, All Souls Day, right? Uh, back in the day, especially pre-Vatican II, All Souls Day was an incredibly dramatic celebration. Uh, it included two major macabre themes. One would be the chant of Dear Sire, uh, which is a day of death. And I'll uh, put the... Uh, music uh, translated into English and Latin, I'll put it right here, and also the black vestments. Oftentimes these black vestments, well first of all black is a dark color, very uh, gloomy color I guess you could say, and so uh, <clears throat> the priests and deacons would be wearing black vestments that would often have skeletons and different types of things uh, the scythe, like the, what the Death Reaper would have, and they would have all sorts of uh, imagery that would have to do with death. And oftentimes, 
you would see that the skeletons are wearing miters and papal tiaras and crowns showing that people are not uh, free from death, except for in one way, and I'll get to that, right? Uh, <clears throat> it would also see show people that are being purged in purgatory. Purgatory is an incredibly mysterious place, but we do know that it, it exists through uh, scripture. And we know that in purgatory, a soul may face different trials. Yeah, some physical, some mental. And it's all in order to get into the kingdom of heaven. In fact, all souls will be <clears throat> uh, purged at some point. Even if they do not need purging, all souls are waiting to be accepted into heaven until the second coming, right? In the Eastern Christian Church, and this includes Eastern Catholics, such as Byzantine Catholics, this would include uh, the bosom of Abraham or Shaul, right? And uh, it's not until the second coming that all these souls will be lifted out of purgatory, or the intermittent state, unless if they're saints or something like that, right? And there's a few exceptions to that. But most souls will not have been lifted up out of the shackles of purgatory until um, the second coming, which is the third aspect I'm talking about. One of the common t uh, expressions of the church in Latin is tempus fugit memento mori, time flies, remember death. Most of us, God willing, will die before the second coming. I don't think that's anything that we want to gaze upon. I think that that would be a shocking and disturbing thing. I don't think it would be like the life of Christ where he walks among us. I think it would be, and other theologians, and I'm not a theologian, but theologians would agree with me. A lot of people, I think, would pray that they don't die of that, right? Uh, but... We do not know when the hour is coming, and time does fly. Things go by very quickly. I think many of us see our lives and look back and think, oh, that was only two or three years ago, and realize it was maybe seven or eight, right? So that is a major aspect of our life, and it's the most important thing in our life is our death, because that's what determines where we'll go, heaven or hell. There's a lot of different cultural aspects in the Catholic Church to the macabre, and I guess it lends itself to horror as well. One is you'll see that there are many churches that are made of bones, the bones of priests, monks, and Christian lay people who have died before us, and they have offered their bones in the construction of a church. Such examples would be in the bone church in Chechia in Prague, Another example would be the catacombs in Rome, as well as in Paris and in London and so on and so forth. The, many of these cities have catacombs in which you can see that the entire walls and ceilings and even the altar rails in which people will receive communion are made of the remains of Christians who have lived before us. There's also the aspect, <clears throat> like I mentioned before, of Diasire, uh, uh, doomsday, the time of death, right? D uh, and so oftentimes as we see a lot of this Christian imagery being borrowed in horror, right? The Dies Irae melody is used in movies like The Screaming Skull, The Seventh Seal, The Shining, and even in non-horror films like Star Wars and Lion King. Uh, there's also an aspect of our Christian faith, which includes... Uh, demons, fallen angels, uh, evil spirits that are trying to ruin good souls. Uh, <clears throat> and I mean, how many movies are made based off of demonic possession? So many, uh, so many films are uh, made based off of uh, demons and such, right? So uh, such as The Exorcist and The Conjuring and so on and so forth, right? So we need to remember that uh, 
a lot of horror has lent itself to borrowing from the Catholic Church, I guess you could say, not to mention how do you defeat a vampire through a crucifix, through a stake through the heart, right? Silver bullets defeat werewolves, and those are made out of melted, melted uh, miraculous metals and so on and so forth, right? And so we need to remember that uh, death should not be something that we should be afraid of. I know that that sounds crazy, but uh, we need to embrace our death because it is our ticket to everlasting life. And hopefully that everlasting life is with God. Hopefully um, we can embrace our death and we can embrace uh, the, the culture around it. This is something that many of our uh, Catholic and other Christian brothers and sisters have been afraid of. They think there's something pagan behind it, when in reality, it is Catholic. If you want to know more about the Catholic Church's relationship to the macabre, uh, you can check my article that I wrote uh, several years ago already down in the description, and I will be putting imagery in this video as well. And uh, take care, and God bless.